Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm filming from my kitchen because I'm gonna be showing you how to make epic coffee beetle clips using just your phone and well, a blender. Let's roll the clip. So I posted that video on Instagram sometime last week and I was getting a number of questions of people asking me how I did some of the sequences. So I thought I'll make this little quick tutorial just to show you how I did that. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, there's a link on the description. You might wanna check it out. I post a lot of interesting things on there weekly. And if you're looking at me and you're going like, what in the world is a B-roll? It's quite simple. In video, we have two main types of clips that we take. There's the A-roll and the B-roll. What you're seeing right now is an A-roll a video of the main subject. So I'm talking and the camera is on me, that's an aerial footage. But if I go ahead and start saying how yesterday I had some fish and it was the best fish in the entire world, and after I had to go to the gym for like five hours to burn all those calories out, everything you're seeing right now is B-roll. So B-roll is just additional clips that we take to support the story that we're trying to tell. So this is aerial, that is B-roll. That's simply what B-roll is. So before we get started making the coffee, I need your help on something. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel and one way you can help me is by simply smashing that like button. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and all the AI robot that YouTube runs in the background and those things. All right, thank you. So let's get started. So for this particular video, I actually didn't do much in the editing side. A lot of what you saw was just decisions I made around how I took the shot and a lot of the transitions that I made uh, when taking the shots. So you gotta think outside the box and think creatively. So like, for example, the very first shot, I wanted something that sort of captivated the audience. So I thought it would be very cool if I could film uh, the water coming out of the tap. And what most people don't know these days is that most of the phones made today are water resistant, so they can withstand some form of water. So what I did for that particular shot was that I just simply went down to the tap and just chose the slow-mo option on the iPhone. Uh, most phones have this. And I just put that below the tap and I just turned on the tap so for the second shot, the idea was that I want, as the water was going down from the top, I just wanted to film myself, you know, putting it into the container. And then I needed a motion shot. So I had my wife graciously help me with this shot right here. For shots like this, there are three things that I think really make them look so dope. Number one is like motion shots. So instead of like just you're at your birthday and you're just filming like, yeah, we had cake here and we had another cake. It's always cool like once you add some motion to shots like those, they just look so cool and cinematic every time there's a little bit of motion to them. Slow motion, as much as possible, try to use slow motion. Slow motion looks really, really cool. And then the third one is transition. So if you already know the next shot you're going into, end the, the first shot in a way that it sort of transitions into the next one. And that's what we did in this second shot right here. So the water drops from the top, it goes into me putting it in the jar and my wife helped me film that. And then this just sort of transitions into the third shot. So as she films me, uh, we just did like a quick zoom up to the ceiling and that took me to the next shot which was me coming from the bottom of the coffee maker. So you just find interesting ways to get the shots. The next thing was me pouring water into the jar so I did a quick uh, dive through into the coffee maker so it gives you that effect of we're going into the jar. Okay, now to the biggest question that everyone was asking me was that how did I fit my phone into that small coffee pot holder? Like, Dude, what did you do, man? Did you drill a hole? How did you get your phone to fit into that coffee pot holder? Well, the simple answer was it was magic. In some way, because you see, magic is just all about perception and misdirection. So obviously there was no way for me to fit my phone into that small holder thingy. So what I just did was create the perception that I was putting my phone in there. And that is where our blender comes into play. So. I used the bottom part of the blender because uh, it's black and the coffee pot holder is also black. And it has this little round hole here that's kind of like a peep hole. So I just aligned that next to my camera and then just filmed myself putting the pod inside that. Now when I aligned that with a shot of me also putting the pod 
inside the coffee pot holder, your brain does the rest and assumes that, you know, the camera was below that. So the same thing happened also for the water tank. My phone couldn't really fit into the water tank. So what I did was I put the phone into a bowl and then I use the bigger part of the blender. So I used that and then I just filled myself pouring water into uh, the blender uh, from the top and then just stitch those two shots together and it gives you that illusion like I was pouring water into the tank. So that is how you get your phone to fit into a coffee pot holder. You know what's not magic though? Smashing that like button, it's not magic. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and smash the like button. So once I had that nailed down, all I had to do was get a few more clips to support that sequence using some of the same techniques that I already showed you. One that was particularly hard to get was the pods falling out of the box. That took quite a bit of tries before I got that right. And when that was not working, I had a bright idea that I could, you know, film myself like flipping the pods in slow motion. And, well, let's just say uh, hand-eye coordination was a little harder than I thought. <laughs> But after a few tries, I finally nailed it. Another shot that was kind of interesting to do was the shot where I was actually dropping the cup on the coffee maker. I needed a fast motion blow, and the only way I could do that was to sort of drop the phone down. And when I put that together, the whole thing transitioned very beautifully. And after a few more shots, I put it all together and the next thing I had to do was take everything to my video editing software, Premiere Pro. So let's see what that looked like. All right guys, so here we are in Premiere Pro and I have all the clips already preloaded onto uh, the timeline. Like I said, I didn't do much in post in this project. All I really did was just stitch the clips together and there were places where I felt like when the camera was transitioning, it didn't move fast enough. So I used the rate stretch to, to sort of speed that up to give it a more blur effect when it was transitioning. And then for the sound design, I initially thought I might have to get some stock sounds to fill in the sound effects. But the phone did a really good job of capturing some of the sounds of some of the actions that I was performing. So I just used that uh, for the sound design and that worked pretty well. So after that, I just added some color grading and that was all. And this is some before and after footage of the color grading. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. That was how I created that video clip. Once again, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the little bell. That way you get notified next time I create contents like this ones and many other cool content. And if you ever create your own awesome, cool B-roll clips, please tag me on social media. I would like to see some of the things you're creating using your phone. And for now, I'm heading out to go enjoy my freshly brewed coffee. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.